My mother, a 20-year breast cancer survivor, she dies of a disease that we never even, never even heard of. Septic shock, sepsis, and she was like, how do you spell it? I said, I don't know. Really, does it affect that many people? Then why haven't I heard of it? My mother, Mama, she had plans of being a gospel singer. One glorious happy day. They found a clot in her femoral artery. She got through that surgery, but she started complaining of a lot of weakness, couldn't catch her breath. When I heard the word sepsis, I didn't understand it. I remember that I went to bed, woke up to find the EMTs in my room. My doctor friend called the hospital and said, look, unless somebody is coding, there's no one in there as sick as this man is right now. Get a doctor in there. In the next few hours, I had one shut down after another, all of my organs, lungs, kidneys, eventually a heart attack. My toes were blackened and gangrenous. It was very unclear as to whether I would survive. It was Halloween. He was up crying and crying. I took his temperature, 102.3, and his color was gray. His lips, his everything was gray, and he was not responding. We got to the hospital. Um, he got swelled up, so he was huge. And one of the doctors said, we don't know if you'll be able to take him home. I'd been waiting for him for, for all these months, and I've only had him three weeks. He, he's mine. I wish I would have asked more, but I felt like I was supposed to know as a mother. I didn't understand that any infection could result in a toxic response that is known as sepsis. It started when I went to the dentist and had some dental work. Following that, I developed an infection and then septic shock. I can't even describe to you the horror of seeing her die of sepsis. The body swelling up twice its size, fingers turning black, having to be intubated. It looked like someone took a shotgun and shot her in the leg. That's what it looked like. For me, this could have a very different ending and it's why I share my survivor story. And the nurse, her name was Annie, and she says, are you ready to hold him? And I said, oh my God, yes. She put him in my arms, and she says, he's gonna be okay. I thought maybe if I share my story, you know, somebody will learn from it. Mama's gone, but maybe somebody else can be saved. <laughs>